guys, welcome back to Empower In. My name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much as usual for watching my videos. So in this video, we are going over questions related to the disease process hypertension. So if you have not seen the main video yet, you definitely wanna check that out. And the main video link will be right here. So let's get right into the question. Remember, this is the second question with video rationale over hypertension. Question number two. As the nurse practitioner takes a comprehensive history of her client with high blood pressure, which of the following risk factors presented might contribute to hypertension? Select all that apply. A, female over 55 years of age. B, African American race. C, smoker. D, high cholesterol levels. E, working as a phone operator. Or F, exercising 150 minutes per week. So let's discuss these answer options one by one. In option A, female over 55 years old, the age risk factors for women is when they're over 65, while in males, the age is 55 to 60. So this answer option would not be considered correct. B, African American race. The African American race is more prone, it seems, than other races, making this answer option correct. Option C, smoker. Smoking is the number one avoidable cause of cardiovascular problems. The nicotine and other chemicals in smoke elevates blood pressure and causes a number of different health issues that are not limited to hypertension, making this answer option correct. Option D, high cholesterol levels. Numerous studies have linked high cholesterol to cardiovascular disease. It has been shown to cause blood vessels to constrict excessively, which may interfere with the overall blood pressure regulation, making this answer option correct. Option E, working as a telephone operator, jobs that primarily involve the use of computers or phones are classic type of sedentary jobs and are considered a risk factor. Good thing you're becoming a nurse and you won't be at risk. <laughs> and finally, option F exercising 150 minutes per week. Well, this is not a risk factor, but a preventative measure for high blood pressure. Making the correct final answer options, B, C, D, and E, because all of these are associated with having high blood pressure. All right, guys, we really hope that you enjoyed that video going over the nursing exam or NCLEX style question. So thank you again so much for your support. We really appreciate having you guys there. So anyways, we can't wait to see you in the next video. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and also sign up for email updates so you can get notified right away when the video is available. All right, I'll see you guys then. Love you. Bye.